welcome you all to online course in uh, spoken english today we shall discuss a new topic that is models and you might have heard of these models right from your school days you will be studying models at different levels okay before we discuss what models are actually we shall have a look at a classroom transaction here is a classroom transaction involving three persons uh, two are students one is john and ravi uh, one the other one is ravi and uh, here is the teacher so uh, john comes to school he is a bit late to school and he waits at the door and seeks the permission of his teacher to enter the class right uh, here, here goes the transaction john may i come in ma'am teacher yes you may but why are you late john i was stuck up in the traffic ma'am i couldn't cross the road for long teacher i have always told you to be early to the class you must start early from your home itself yes get in quick then ravi interferes ravi speaks to the teacher ravi ma'am shall i help him with the notes you dictated so far teacher okay good give him your notes after the class is over ravi okay ma'am teacher all right shall we discuss the next point now so the class continues now so uh, i would like uh, to make out a few points here and i want to i want you to observe the words that are highlighted here in the first dialogue you can see may is highlighted may and in the second dialogue the dialogue by teacher may is highlighted and uh, when you come to john couldn't it is highlighted and in the next dialogue next you know uh, statement by the teacher must is highlighted and uh, in the dialogue by ravi shall is highlighted and then at the last last exchange that is by teacher and shall is highlighted so these may could couldn't must shall hmm, these are all called modal auxiliaries so before we discuss what um, these modal auxiliaries are so the, what is the function of the sentence here john may i come in ma'am so here uh, he is seeking permission so may is used here to seek permission but in the very next sentence the function of uh, the word may changes you can observe here teacher says yes you may but why are you late yes you may you may get in so she is giving permission in the first uh, exchange that is by uh, john he was seeking permission now teacher is giving permission using the same modal auxiliary may right and then john says i was stuck up in the traffic ma'am i couldn't cross the road for long couldn't is there could not okay it is contracted as couldn't i couldn't cross the road for long so could not it shows his inability so could not is used here to show the inability of the person uh, john was not able to cross the road owing to heavy traffic there then uh, teacher says i have always told you you must start early from your home you must start so there is an obligation must is used to give order or make an obligation to the person that is to john she is making an obligation that you have to start from your home early always and then ravi says ma'am shall i help him uh, with the notes you dictated so far shall i help him so he is offering uh, you know an, a help offering a help and he is asking his teacher's permission to help his friend john and in the next last exchange by teacher all right shall we discuss the next point now she is you know suggesting or asking the, uh, she is making a proposal and taking an informal you know permission or you know she is just taking their okay okay taking okay from the uh, from the students and starting the next point of the lesson shall we discuss the next point now so it's just uh, making an indirect proposal okay or suggesting so these are all uh, the modal auxiliaries and these modal auxiliaries do different kinds of functions when used in different contexts so okay? this is the speciality of modal auxiliaries then observe the sentences here these are two sets of sentences you can observe them first sentence first set is he is very adamant they may fail to convince him he is very adamant the person is very adamant he sticks to his point of view he he is not easily convinced they may fail to convince him they may fail they may not be successful they may fail so it shows possibility possibility of their failure in convincing him 
Then next sentence, I need to call my brother now. May I use your phone? May I use your phone? So seeking permission or requesting. And then are you appearing for the final exam? May God bless you. Oh, are you going to the final exam now? You are hurrying for the exam. You are holding that uh, pad, pen and everything ready and you are rushing. Are you appearing for final examination? May God bless you. So the same model functions in a different way and it, con it conveys different moods of the speaker. In the first sentence, possibility. May, possibility of failure. In the second sentence, may I use your phone? It is a request. In the third sentence, may God bless you. So it is a blessing or wishing. Same may used in different contexts conveys different moods of the people. Now let's move on to the second set of sentences. I was not able to ride a bicycle just a year ago, but I can drive a car now. The person is speaking. I was not able to ride a bicycle just a year ago. I was totally unable. I was unable to ride a bicycle. I didn't have that ability to ride a bicycle just a year ago. And now I can drive a car. So uh, in the first sentence, he is uh, speaking of his inability. And the second sentence, he is saying that he is able now, his ability. So can here is used to show the ability of the person, his ability to drive the car. Let us move on to the second sentence in the second set. I am very tired. Can I have a glass of water, please? So he is putting forth a request. Can here is used to putting forth a request. He is making a request to the person to fetch him a glass of water as he is tired. Be seated and relax. I can give you cold water. Be seated and relax. You just be seated and relax. I can give you cold water. So he is offering something. So in the first sentence, can shows ability. In the second sentence, it is you know making a request. It is used to make a request. And in the third sentence, the person uh, is making an offer. So these uh, the same modal auxiliary, modal verb, modal verb used in different sentences conveys different moods of the people that is the reason these verbs are called modal auxiliaries they bring out the mood of the person that is the reason they are called modal auxiliaries let us now move on to discuss what are models actually based on our discussion so far one we discussed the classroom transaction uh, the exchanges between the teacher and the students and then we had two sets of sentences and based on these let us dis decide and discuss what models actually are okay what are models then models are a type of helping verb or auxiliaries so there are mainly two kinds of verbs you know all of you know one is main verb and the other one is auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is otherwise called helping verb so uh, in helping verb we can have a category they, they are called models or uh, otherwise called modal auxiliaries or modal verbs are simply called models and they are used to express one's feelings emotions and moods i was telling you okay feelings they can express feelings also moods emotions uh, we saw in the first uh, you know dialogue in the first dialogue between teacher and uh, ravi teacher was impatient because uh, john uh, came late to the class and she was you know she put forth an obligation and he made a request uh, ravi made an offer so different emotions feelings and moods of the persons are conveyed through this and there are 10 main modal auxiliaries in english Okay, it's very easy to remember. You need not panic. They are very easy, very easy to remember. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must and ought to. Okay, these are 10 modal auxiliaries and there are three semi-modals. Okay, they are modals. They function as modals and sometimes they function as main verbs. That is the reason they are called semi-modals. What are the three semi-modals? One is day, the second one is need and the third one is used to. And one more question, next question that crops up in our mind or naturally it comes to uh, everybody. Why are these models necessary? Okay, why do model auxiliaries matter? Okay. Can't we say anything without modal auxiliaries? Yes, we can say, but our speech won't be effective and we won't be able to convey the nuances of uh, the feelings, emotions, uh, expressions, moods. We may convey everything, but we may not be able to convey the subtler aspects of uh, our emotions, right? So uh, we shall see one by one. They help us use English very effectively. I have uh, made it very clear. Feelings, emotions and moods can be very effectively conveyed and they improve the range of English communication. They use language, not just English, any language for that matter. We use language to 
put forth possibilities we, we make obligations we make requests hmm? we make suggestions hmm? we offer we apologize okay we order all these are the different functions of language so range of english communication can be improved with the help of modal auxiliaries right then they enable the speaker to make an effective use of contractions so you see contractions are a very critical component of uh, spoken english when it comes to uh, spoken english uh, we need to contract some words contraction actually uh, contributes to fluency fluency of speech right so uh, i could have here are two sentences you can just see i could have listened to him i didn't listen to him i could have listened to him ನಾನು ಅವನ ಮಾತು ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾನು ಕೇಳಬಹುದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ಲಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸಿ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸಿ ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸಿ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಡ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೀಸ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಲರೀಸ್ ಲೆನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬೆಟರ್ ವೇ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫ್ಲೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಯೂಸಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ right then uh, we shall move on to the next point that is form or basic formula of using models so for everything there are you know basic forms or you know usage how to put it structure is there and what are the structures for this right it's very simple models can be used subject modal auxiliary and main verb so this is the basic structure of using models right whenever uh, we use model for example there are, here are three sentences mayur would love to visit this place mayur would love to visit this place john could run fast when he was young mohammed should stop wasting his time so these are the three sentences you can see the structure of the sentence it is uh, glaring mayur would love mayur subject would is the modal auxiliary love is the main verb and then rest of the sentence love to visit the this place in the second sentence also john subject could is the modal auxiliary run is the main verb and the rest of the sentence then mohammed subject should modal auxiliary stop is the main verb right so subject modal auxiliary and main verb this is basic structure or the basic form or formula of using models then there is a second point if there is a model in the present perfect tense it should be followed by have and you know the structure of present perfect tense i have written a letter he has eaten a banana so have uh, and has will be there in the present perfect tense if there is a model in the present perfect tense what should be done it should be followed by have i shall give you uh, three uh, two examples here i should have informed you earlier i should have informed you earlier and it can again be contracted i should have i should have informed you earlier i should have informed you earlier here i is a subject should is the modal auxiliary and have is there so should be uh, it should be followed by have have is there and uh, uh, soon after the subject you have to use the modal verb and then we can use the have and uh, after have usually there will be third form of the verb and had he worked hard he would have passed the exam you can see the second part of the sentence so here is a condition it is a conditional right he would have passed the exam he is the subject would is the modal auxiliary have is the verb you know have form then pass b is the v3 right and then next point that is in wh questions what should be the form what should be the structure uh, of using models in wh questions the model comes after the question verb very simple to remember see why should you do it now why should you do it now why is the question word should is the modal auxiliary you why should you do it now so we just remember in wh questions question word comes first and soon after comes the modal auxiliary then how could you escape the danger how could you escape the danger how is the wh word could is the modal auxiliary and then how could she have behaved with him how could she have you can observe wh word how could is the modal auxiliary she hmm? and the rest of the sentence and the fourth one that is in sr no type of questions 
models appear in the beginning so there are two types of questions right one is uh, wh question mm, uh, the question giving information and second one is the yes or no type of question the questions for confirmation right in yes or no type of question appears in the beginning since there is no question word the question begins with the modal auxiliary itself may i come in sir we saw this example may i come in ma'am may i may appears in the beginning when it is a yes or no type of question may means modal auxiliary and then must they follow you so must is the modal auxiliary and it comes first in a yes or no type of questions in this session we discussed models modal auxiliaries what are modal auxiliaries how are they used why are they used and we have also seen the basic pattern or structure of using models with this we shall conclude today's session thank you bye bye